Good morning, everyone. Good morning, grade 5 learners. Welcome to your mathematics class. This is Teacher Carmela, your Mathematics 5 teacher, and I will be with you as we make the most out of our discussion today. In today's lesson, we will be discussing about visualizing percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. Before that, I want to know if you still remember our previous lessons by answering the following questions. The first question is, how do we rename ratios into fractions? To change ratios into fractions, write the first quantity as the numerator and the second quantity as the denominator, then express in lowest terms. Well then, how would you rename 16 to 100 as a fraction? 16 to 100 in fraction form is 16 hundredths or 4 over 25 in lowest term. For the second question, how do we express fractions as decimal numbers? To change fraction into decimal numbers, divide the numerator by the denominator. How would you rename the fraction 16 hundredths as a decimal number? 16 over 100 in decimal numbers is expressed as 0 0.16 or 16 hundredths. Congratulations! You are all geared up for the next lesson. A certain soap advertisement says that their product kills 99% of germs. What is meant by the soap brand in saying it kills 99% of germs? Let's have an illustration. Percent came from the Latin word percentum, which means for every hundred. Percent is also a ratio of a number to 100. It is represented by the percent symbol that looks like a fraction bar with zeros as numerator and denominator. To represent this in a model, Make a big square and divide it into 100 small squares. If each square is 1%, it means that 99 squares must be shaded to represent 99% of the germs. This only means that 99 out of 100 germs are killed every time you use their product. Can you express the shaded region or 99% as a fraction or a decimal number? We will find out later. As defined earlier, percent is a ratio of a number to 100. We already know that ratios can be expressed in fractions and decimal numbers. If this is possible, therefore, percent may also be expressed as fractions, decimal numbers, and vice versa. To make things clear, consider this example. For example, number 1, 100 applicants took the qualifying examination, but only 34 applicants pass the test. The applicants are represented in the figure wherein the large square is divided into 100 small squares. What percent of the large square are the shaded parts? 34 out of 100 small squares are shaded. These shaded squares represent those who pass the test. Each of the smaller square is 1 over 100 or 1% 1 of the large square. 
Therefore, the shaded part is 34% of the large square. Let us move on to example number 2. A large square is divided into 100 small squares. 50 of the 100 squares are shaded or 50 hundredths in fractions. If each small square is 1%, how is this renamed in percent? If your answer is a 50 over 100 or 50%, you are correct. Let's now move on to renaming percent to fractions in its simplest forms. To change percent into a fraction, remove the percent sign and write that number as the numerator, then write 100 as the denominator. This is from the definition that percent means for every 100. Finally, express your answer in simplest form. For example, 30%. We drop the percent symbol, making it 30. Then, we write 30 as the numerator, and we write 100 as the denominator, making it 30 hundreds. Then, to express it in simplest form, that will be 3 tenths. Let us have another example. How would you write 60% as a fraction in its simplest form? First thing to do is to remove the percent symbol, so what remains is 60. Then, write this number as your numerator. Then, use 100 as the denominator, so we will have 60 over 100 or 60 hundreds. And finally, reduce your answer to simplest form or lowest terms. The simplest form of 60 over 100 or 60 hundreds is 3 over 5 or 3 fifths. Can we rename 3 fifths back to percent? How? To rename a fraction to percent, just multiply the fraction by 100%. 3 times 100% is equal to 300%. For the denominator, multiply 5 by 1. Yes, this is equal to 5. Now, we divide 300% by 5, which gives us 60%. Very good. Now we are going to express percent as decimal numbers. There are two ways to convert percent to decimals. First, write as a fraction and divide the numerator by the denominator. For example, Rename 34% as a decimal number. First, let's write 34% as a fraction. 34% to fraction will become 34 over 100 or 34 hundreds. What would be the result if we divide 34 by 100? If your answer is 0 0.34 or 34 hundredths, you are correct. Another method is by removing the percent symbol and moving two decimal places to the left. Example, rename 34% as a decimal number. In writing 34% as a decimal number, Remove first the percent symbol. Now we have 34. Now, move two decimal places going to the left. We will then have 
zero point thirty four or thirty four hundredths. Therefore, thirty four percent is zero point thirty four or thirty four hundredths in decimals. Take note that we use zero to take the place of the digit in units place value. Let us have another example. Rename 5% as a decimal number. The figure 5% has only one digit. How are we going to move two decimal places to the left? Remember, we use 0 as a placeholder. First thing to do is to remove the percent symbol and retain 5. Next thing to do is to move two decimal places to the left. The result would be 0 0.05 or 5 hundredths. Thus, 5% 5 is 0 0.05 in decimal form. Next is, how are we going to rename decimal numbers to percent? We can rename decimal numbers to percent using two ways. Number one, move two decimal places to the right and attach the percent symbol. Or number two, multiply the decimal by 100%. Let us try renaming 0 0.12 in percent notation. What will be the result if we move two decimal places to the right? If we will move the decimal point two decimal places to the right, then we will have 12. And then we will affix the percent sign. Therefore, 0 0.12 or 12 hundredths is 12 percent. Let's try the other method. Let's multiply 12 hundredths or 0 0.12 by 100 percent. What did you get? If your answer is 0 0.12 or 12 hundredths multiplied by 100 percent, is equal to 12%, you are correct. Now, let's go back to the question I posted earlier. Can you rename now 99% as a fraction or a decimal? I think you surely can. How is 99% renamed then as a fraction? If your answer is 99 over 100 or 99 hundredths, you are correct. And how would 99% be expressed as a decimal number? If your answer is 0 0.99 or 99 hundredths in decimals, you are excellent. That's it for our lesson. Now let's see if you can now apply what you have learned. Let us determine what percent of each figure is shaded. For number 1, 24 out of 100 squares are shaded. The correct answer is 24%. For number 2, 40 out of 100 squares are shaded. The shaded region is 40%. For number 3, 30 out of 100 squares are shaded. 30 out of 100 is 30%. For number 4, 20 out of 100 squares are shaded. The correct answer is 20%. Let us have another activity. For number 1, what is 34% in decimal numbers? Moving the decimal point two places to the left 
will give us the answer 0 0.34. For number 2, write 5 over 2 or 5 halves as percent. 5 over 2 or 5 halves in percent is 250%. For number 3, Express 0 0.60 in percent. 0 0.60 as percent is 60%. For number 4, how do you write 50% as a fraction in simplest form? The correct answer is 1 over 2 or 1 half. For number 5, how do you write 8 over 25 in decimal? If your answer is 0 0.32 or 32 hundredths, you are correct. Well done, grade 5 learners. For the recap, what is percent? Percent is a ratio of a number to a hundred. It is denoted by the percent symbol. How is percent related to ratios, fractions, and decimal numbers? Percent can be renamed as a ratio, fraction, and decimal number. To express percent to fractions, let us remember first, take away the percent symbol. Second, write the number as the numerator. Third, write 100 as the denominator. And fourth, simplify. There are two ways to rename percent as decimal numbers. Number one, moving two decimal places to the left and take away the percent symbol. Or number two, Rename as fraction and divide the numerator by the denominator. Well, that's it for now. I hope you learned a lot today. Special thanks to Sir Jose Jasper Ian B. Lampa for the PowerPoint presentation and the script. This is Teacher Carmela M. Santos, your Mathematics 5 teacher. Until next time!